I started working with Manix 7 in 2018 and from there on I progressed through Manix 8 which gave us a lot of new UX possibilities and Manix 9 uh, which did a lot under the hood for version control and other amazing stuff. And now we arrived at Manix 10. Let's say uh, Manix 4. And I think one of the main things you see evolving is that Everything was already possible with Mendix, but things became much more easy. And it's really a pl platform on which you can trust. I started uh, with Mendix back in 2015. I even have the course book from back then. I think it was Mendix 5. And my experience so far is that it has really changed over the years. Uh, it has become more and more developer friendly. I started with Mendix version 7 uh, back then when I worked at SAP and was super amazed about the uh, platform capabilities back then and I'm really happy to see how Mendix 7 evolved to Mendix 8 and 9 and then now 10. I started with Mendix version 2.5.1 RC uh, if I remember right. So over the years Mendix went through various releases, updates like each introducing new features, improvements, bug fixes and, and many many kind of like things and these updates aim to enhance the platform capabilities and provide a more user-friendly experience for developers. Uh, and uh, throughout this whole journey, it's gained traction in the market. It's got like very strong community now with uh, for developers, partners, customers, and you know, uh, it just contributed a lot to the whole growth and ecosystem. So I think if you would now ask me, then I do really like the new improved document generator. Two major parts of the release of Manix 10, the, the Git version control uh, is a big step forward. Git as an industry standard uh, now integrated as the primary uh, version control. For example, pull requests will become available there. That will be a huge win for developers. I think the Mendix 10 capabilities of generating a PDF file are really helpful for the business. Uh, for developers, it's the uh, list operations to reduce. The Mendix platform capability I like the most is, to be honest, like the Jira integration. The main reason is because in my very first project, that was the requirement to integrate the Mendix application with Jira to be able to put uh, user stories from the application there. Um, which will help a lot of companies, but also developers for the project management of Mendix application development. From the developer's perspective, the extensibility of Studio Pro is, is the big, big win. Quite some features are not uh, part of the platform yet. They were announced for um, an extend.6 or even later. Uh, and one of the things uh, that I like most is the extensibility of Studio Pro as your IDE. By opening up the platform uh, and opening up that extensibility, I can think of plugins which can help you build templated microflows or templated logic, maybe templated pages, like an extension on building blocks, just to name a few things. Uh, but by opening that up, I think the IDE is becoming more mature as well as you do see comparable initiatives at high code IDs already. So I do think that it's a, it's a really good step forward. What I'm looking forward to with Mendix 10 is actually the uh, Mac OS uh, support. And I was hoping for having uh, Mendix on a Mac. And now I'm really happy that this is announced and can't wait to use that one and be even more productive and more efficient. Uh, the extensibility uh, is great because uh, it, it can help you to build anything that you like. For example, there was something on ChatGPT recently, and as an April 1st kind of thing, uh, one of the other MVP uh, did a, a kind of a demo on, on having an extension of ChatGPT, which was just uh, for fun. But I think those kind of things are now possible with Mendix extension. So yeah, that's, uh, that's really exciting times. I love Mendix because you can now build apps so really really fast and i have an experience before mendix with full code development i think where you were able to develop apps within weeks or months before uh, in a full code language being able now to to do it in days or even weeks um, making a screen uh, within minutes uh, it's it's amazing what i like most about mendix as a platform uh, and that will be a quite a basic answer uh, but it's 
bringing together business and IT. Uh, and it's, it's really nice to see that happening on a day-to-day -day basis. And having a platform like Mendix uh, allows you to build something, test it fast, have feedback and fix that right away. And I think there is no platform to do it that easy and that integrated into one platform. Um, so you can speed up your development process and deliver that value even faster. My most favorite thing about Mendix is that I can develop fast and flexible. I can reuse my code and I can take the customer through it. What's really nice about being a Mendix developer is the Mendix community itself. Super supportive, helpful and with amazing people there. Uh, it's just a bit difficult to pick because there's so many, but if I pick one, I think it's speed of delivery.